Well, thank you for those of you that are going to spend a little time with us here, and we, uh, we hope we can teach you a little bit about uh, what we do at the Rod Patrick Boot Company, and we're set up right over here uh, next to the, uh, to the cinch jeans and shirts and cruel girl and cinch boots. They start speeding back. Just stay in between these two speakers, and you'll okay. be good. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. <clears throat> thank you, sir. Um, you know, it's really a, a pleasure and an honor to do what we do at Rod Patrick Boots because we sort of uh, have adhered to boot fitting back to the way the master boot makers used to uh, make boots 50, 60 years ago. And we've really held to those traditions in uh, sizing and fit. Um, we build everything from a size 4 to a size 17, triple E, double E, single E, D, C, B, A, double A, triple A, and quad A. So, you know, everybody can wear about two, three, four different sizes, but boot fitting is really two sizes. It's length and width. And something that we're able to do for most people is really give them maybe the best fit they've ever had. Um, we fit from the metatarsal bone, the ball of your foot, back to your heel. A, um, Katie, can you hold this mic for me? A boot, a boot is built and constructed to naturally flex at this point right here in the sole. And that is at the end of the steel arch that's in there. So imagine this being a hinge on a gate. That's where the boot is built to naturally flex. The ball of our foot, or our metatarsal bone, represents the hinge on our foot. So for ideal fit, we want to line those two hinge points up, the hinge on the boot and the hinge on the foot. In order to do that, we've got to have all these width avail widths available to us so we can hold you in through the arch with a snug fit. Most everybody goes into an average store and there's D's and double E's. That's all you have to choose from. So in most cases, I really feel, most people are fit a little too short because they, they have to go shorter to keep that boot from falling off. And uh, you're cramping your toes, and you're really not hitting, hitting your arch as good as you can. So we have the ability to fit you and give you the best fit from your metatarsal or the ball of your foot to your heel, plus give you the toe room that you really need, probably for comfort that you've never had. If you've wore boots that are too short, you know how the Japanese women wrap their feet to shrink their feet and make them, make them smaller? Well, your metatarsal bones will pull back to get away from the pressure on the end of that boot. So if you allow yourself to get fit correctly in a boot that's long enough, those metatarsal bones will actually flatten out and your foot will get longer and, and be a more comfortable fit. And as we age, our feet get bigger anyway. So um, if, you, if you have time and you have interest, please come spend some time with us over there and we can actually let you experience uh, what this is like because it's a great opportunity to get a chance to do something that you probably can't get done in your area uh, or just anywhere uh, you go to buy boots. So John's going to be a, uh, an example for me. Uh, John's going to sit down. John's wearing 11D here. I think he's fit a little bit uh, short in this boot. And what I'll do when somebody comes in, I'll look at them. Don't take it off just yet, John. I'll look at them, and I can kind of evaluate the way I think they're fit by looking at the way their boot is worn, uh, whether they're rolling over and breaking over in the heel. It tells me a lot just by looking at what they're wearing and how it's wearing. So I see, I see John here. I think he's, uh, he's, he's pushing out over the welt here a little more than he probably should be. And I can see toe pressure up here a little farther forward than I would like to see. So I evaluate him to that point. The next thing I do, John, if you'll hold that, you bet, is I pull that boot off. A little snug, but that's okay. If they fit correctly, they should be. Then I will take and I'll look at his foot, and I will literally look to see his toes and how they're shaped and, and how they've reacted to the footwear that he's worn. And I can see how his little toes here are curling under. You see that? You can see it from clear back there on the 50-yard line. <laughs> and uh, so that tells me he's been wearing boots that are too short. It's what causes hammer toe. It's what causes bunions. And uh, 
back pain, leg pain. I mean, it really will. Your feet are the most important part of your body. And if you're not fit correctly, uh, over time, you're really going to suffer from the uh, ill effects of that. So, <laughs> here, Katie, if you'll hold this. So what I'm, what I'm going to do here, this is, a Brannick, this is a Brannick device. And I don't know if any of you, who's been measured with this tool here ever? You have? Everybody have? Good. You know, you ask somebody, have you ever been measured like this? And there's usually two answers, never or when I was a little kid. Okay? Well, it's exactly. So, so we use this. This is not an exact science, but it, it, it's a valuable tool to help us know where we should start. Okay? And the most important measurement is from the metatarsal to the heel. So I've got to put my glasses on because I'm about half blind. But we take John, and you, this tool was designed to be used with your, uh, with your customer setting down, which most people don't know that. And I find the middle of his metatarsal, which is the ball of your foot, for you people over here that can't see. And then I line this measurement up here. I don't worry about the length of his toe measurement here. I'm going to measure from the ball to the heel. So what I'm getting on John here... He's measuring, he's actually measuring about 12 and a half. So I know, I know it just verifies what I was thinking. The 11D he's wearing is too short. He's not fit correctly. But in that length of boot in a D width, he's got to wear an 11 to where it fits snug enough that it doesn't fall off of his foot. Okay? So here's the thing to understand about boot fit. And if you can follow me with this. If you take the 11D and go to an 11 and a half C, a 12 B, a 12 and a half A, a 13 double A, a 13 and a half triple A, every one of those sizes I just listed is the exact same volume. I go out in length, I come in in width. I go out in length, I come in in width. You can take the 11 D, fill it with water, and dump it into every other corresponding size until you get up to the 13 and a half triple A, they will all hold the exact same amount of water. Okay? So, what, what our objective is to do is to find the best length and width combination for John. Okay? One of them is going to be the best combination, and that's our goal, is to optimize and, and maximize his comfort uh, in, in the boot that he's going to wear. So, We've got him measured, about a 12 and a half. So we're going to go to a 12 and a half B. It's already out. The other thing we do, where's our silicone spray? When I pull John's boot off, his, his sock's a little damp because he's been working the trade show here and a little sweaty. So, you know, when you get to 4 o'clock in the afternoon, you've been on your feet all day, your feet are swollen, your socks are a little damp. We use this fabulous silicone spray. And what that does is that allows you to get easy entry into that boot. And when we're trying to achieve maximum fit and optimum fit, and what I refer to as critical fit, we need this. Because we want that customer to be able to experience the best fit as possible. We want him to get into that boot without any issues. And this is a valuable tool. John, if you'll hold this, or Katie. Spray this silicone, and then we use these. Uh, we we'll use these fit chairs, and if you come to our booth, you'll see we have fit chairs built about 32 inches off the ground, and and that's done for a purpose. It's easier for the customer, and it's easier for us to help them. Because how many times have you seen guys here? Get up, second John. You know they will Let me just sit in the chair here. Okay. You give a guy a boot, all right, and he, he crosses his leg and he starts doing this, trying to hit his toe, you know. And get it on there crooked. Well, if you don't start straight, you're 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 kind of defeated. You you got to have you got to have everything in line and do it correctly. And that's really what we try to do. So, John, if you'll sit down here again, yes, sir. I'm gonna have him in the fit chair, and I'm gonna start him correctly. And I'm gonna ask him to put his fingers in those boot pulls, and he's gonna pull that boot on. And did you hear that thud? That's music to my ears. When they get into that boot and it goes on like that and you're a little snug through that entry and you get that pop, that's telling me I really like the sound of that. So what I do is I look to see that he's snug across his instep, not drummy tight as I refer to it. I find that metatarsal bone and see if I've got it lined up on that, that point that's going to break the natural flex point on the sole 
and I do, and then I come down here, and I want to feel what I call toe void. I don't want to feel any pressure on your toes whatsoever, okay? Because what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to allow those toes that are now pinched up on John to relax and straighten out, okay? Now, I can move John from an 11D to a 12.5B today and move him no farther out. He'll come back in a year. His foot will have gotten longer. His toes will have flattened out, and I can probably move him to a 13A. Now, I might be able to do that today, but it's, it's, it's the honest truth. Um, I, I used to wear a 9B. I now wear a 12 and a half 4A, and I'm almost at the end of the boot, and that's what will happen. So I've got him in a 12 and a half B. Now we're going to pull that off. Katie, if you'll pull that off, Katie's going to put a 13A on him. Now see what I've done? I've gone from a 12 and a half B to a 13A. I've gone out one length and come in one width. Okay? Same pop, same entry, same volume. Okay? Now we're going to check his metatarsal. Stand up on this, John, if you would, please. I still like where his metatarsal's at. I come out here, I've still got good toe void. And when I get to this point, <coughs> I'm going to ask you, like I'm going to ask John, Kind of walk around a little bit. Tell me what you're feeling. Tell me what you're experiencing. And by me listening to what you tell me and how you respond is going to tell me where I need to go. And at some point, you're probably, in this experience, you're probably going to put a, a boot on and you're going to go, that's it. That's it. You got me. And that's when we know we do. Okay? So the thing I want you to understand is, can you wear the size you're wearing? Absolutely. Is there a better option? I don't know. There might be. We give you the opportunity to find out, okay? And if, you can, if you're sitting there going, you know, my hip bothers me, my leg bothers me, I've got a foot, you know, I, I shop all day here at the NFR, my feet are, feet are tired, okay, my feet hurt, you know, hey, come have some fun with us. Come let us fit you. Come let us put some boots on you and just experience it, okay? Because until you experience it, it's really a, 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 a concept that might be a little difficult to understand, but I hope it kind of makes sense to you. I really try to simplify it and make it easy to understand. But uh, we build a hand-lasted boot. It's all hand-lasted. It's all leather, leather-stacked heel, lemon wood pegs. They use lemon wood pegs uh, because they expand and contract with temperature and moisture, just like leather, so that you're guaranteed a secure fit of that arch, and the arch stays securely in place in that boot. We use a 10 to 11 iron sole, which is the, the, the best grade of thickness and leather that you can buy. Um, you know, these are built by uh, craftsmen uh, in uh, Lyon, old Mexico. Uh, it's family tradition. They're sons of sons of sons of boot makers that have been there forever. So we really pride ourselves on quality. We really pride ourselves on fit. If you want to get creative, we literally have thousands and thousands of leather combinations and colors and stitch colors. We have a, a stitch card color that's probably got, uh, I don't know, 150 different combinations of colors that you can do. We have stitch patterns available to you. We have top leathers that are available to you. But you know what? If you want instant gratification, we've got 25 in-stock styles, and we've got everything over there from double E's to triple A's. So there's a chance that we can, uh, can fit you and fit you correctly. Um, at this point, is there any questions? I know this can be kind of boring, and I don't want to, you know, put you guys to sleep, but uh, uh, I really want to share with you and, and tell you what we can do. Anybody have any questions? You going to come see us? All right. Good deal. Good deal. Um, we, we got some Rod, cap, Rod uh, Patrick caps there. If anybody wants a cap, we're going to pass those out. Um, Katie, was there anything I forgot? I'll show you this chart. I brought this chart up. These are the toes. The toes that are available, we've got our CB square toe, our blunt toe, which is, uh, is anybody wearing a blunt toe? John's wearing the blunt toe. This is our fashion T toe. Katie's wearing that. We use that toe a lot on ladies' fashion boots. Uh, this is our F toe, our, our, our round toe. This is a French toe, which is kind of a modified version of that blunt toe with a little lower profile. And then we've got the Bex toe, which is kind of your traditional Western toe. And what this chart shows you is in each last, the sizes that are available. So as you can see in this last here, in a D width, we go from a 7, clear out to a 17. And in a quad A, we go from a 7.5 to a 17. So we actually make a 17 quad A. All right? 
the T toe, for, it's most, mostly a women's boot. You can see it's a little uh, narrower size offering, but that's because it's women's sizes. Uh, the F toe, which was our original toe and the first last we ever had at Rod Patrick, we obviously have the most sizes available. And this is the only last that we do in a triple E. So if you really need a triple E, we do it in this F toe. So I, I hope I've kind of opened your eyes and maybe given you a little different understanding of boot fit and an option that's out there that maybe you didn't uh, know before. But we're here all week next week. We've got a lot of qualified people over there. So come take a look. No obligation. Uh, we'll be glad to fit you up and have some fun with you and let you try on some really good boots. I want to thank you for your time.